Don Hoi Lot is named by identification of geography of the flat and local name of laser cram called Hoi Lot. In 2001, the flat had been registered to the list of wetland of international importance, which is under Ramsar Treaty. This Ramsar site has areas of 20,000 rice. In addition, this area is covered a part of territories of four sub-districts named Bang Gao, Bang Jekreng, Lam Yai, and Krongkorn sub-districts. The flat has major components of mud mixed with fan. These components are sediment of Maklong River runoff to river mouth of the river. The sediments carried out a plenty of fertilizer set on down on the flat, whereas two times of tidal change. Hence, the flat helps reducing a volume of sediments run down to the sea. Therefore, this helps diminishing the decline of marine environment. The enrichment of the flat is worth as habitats. So, the diversity of aquatic resources indicate the flat is 42 invertebrates and bivalves are chiefly found on the flat. Particular bivalves are important economic product that local people can generate income. Razor clam, Solin lecularis, is the most important species found on the flat. This species provides employment and source of income to local people. Fishers use their foot and hand to search the clam under the ground. Some fishers use wooden rod to seek a hole of clam. When he finds a hole, then use a small stick dipping into lime and insert the stick into the hole. A few seconds later, a clam will jump out to the surface of the hole because of lime. The fisher then collects that clam. However, Fisher collects only marketable size clam. When there were fisher find small clam, they leave that small clam. The small clam then instinctively digs down under the ground as quick as possible. If left, the small clam will be hunted by chills. Local users recognized the issue of laser clam over exploitation. They agreed to initiate a user group to protect, manage, and control the clam for sustainable use. So, the group is taking a leading role to design it flat areas of 22 rice to be conservative zone for laser clam root spouts and spreads since October 2009. Any users do not allow to do the clams harvesting in the conservative zone. To strongly enhance the clams in the conservative zone, the group has led other users to organize traditional ceremony to the flat called in Thai is Piti Sub Shatadon. Correspondingly, Number of laser clams is increasing from 1 or 2 clams per square meter to be 3 or 4 clams per square meter after close the conservative zone for 5 months. However, the flat areas have a risk against the dam construction. Dam construction has main purpose to protect budding and irrigate water for agricultural sectors. Nevertheless, Dam construction is a barrier to reduce volume of sediment from upstream to downstream, ending to the flat. The flat will be neither abundance nor diversity of aquatic resources. These issues may cause to an increase of 
vulnerability to local people, particular small-scale fishers. ทีนี้เราเล่าถึงความเสื่อมโทรมความเสื่อมโทรมของรอดเนี่ยมันมีห้าห้าข้อห้าหกข้อใหญ่ๆหนึ่งในอดีตเนี่ยคนหยอดห
คือไม่มีการทํากันเป็นรูปเป็นร่างและจริงจังได้แต่คุยแล้วก็หายได้แต่คุยแล้วก็หายนะครับการการที่มีใจที่จะรักษามันผมว่าใจนะชาวบ้านเนี่ยถามว่าชาวบ้านไม่ให้นะใจใจในการรักเขาเริ่มให้นะแต่ไม่มีการพูดคุยหน่วยงานภาครัฐที่ผมเองคุณไม่เข้ามาเองใช่ผมพูดอย่างนี้เลยทุกทุกสถานที่นะถ้าทรัพยากรที่ไหนเสื่อมนะหน่วยงานภาครัฐจะรีบเข้าไปหาหามาแล้วก็ไปแต่แบบจริงจังและต่อเน,นื่องไม่ค่อยมีอ่ะผมพูดอย่างนี้เลยเนี่ยไม่ค่อยมีเหมือนไฮรอดเนี่ยผมออกสื่อวิกฤตวิกฤตวิกฤตหน่วยงานนี้หน่วยงานนี้ทำไมวิกฤตเพราะอะไรอะไรยังไงรู้แล้วก็ไป